Today I'm making a Christmas present. I don't know for who yet, but I was inspired by pictures on the internet to make this tentacle. I was partly inspired because I knew I could do this. I had previously made a pie cut exhaust for a motorcycle and I had pieces left over. And that is a great starting point because I love to reuse material. So the pie cut pieces we had previously were larger and now we need to cut smaller ones out of this other piece of scrap tubing. So I've got an angle finder here that I've got set to about 20 degrees currently. The previous pie cuts I had left over those were 10 or 15 degrees. So this is more of a steeper angle, which has some drawbacks and creates sharper angles on our bends. Then it's not quite as smooth of a bend, which ultimately could make my tentacle look more robotic than natural. So that's something to consider on this one. And then there was a differential between the size of tubes I had available to me. So in order to bridge the gap, the transition between one size tube and the other size tube, I had to modify the tubes and cut them down a little bit and then pinch them together to make them a tube that was slightly in between sizes. And that will decrease the gap that I ultimately have to weld. And I really do love welding. This is these pie cut things, putting this together, this is actually kind of therapeutic for me. All these little pieces, sticking them together one by one. And it's fun because you can turn the pie cuts just slightly and you send the final shape in a different direction. And pie cuts really are a lot of fun to work with. Although they are tedious in that they take a long time because you gotta tack them up is the funnest part. Fully welding them all together, before you know it, it's like the whole day is gone. Don't you just love TIG welding? It really is my favorite welding process. There were several times on this project that I found myself trying to weld through a clamp and that sort of thing where there's just in these little tiny spaces where I just could not have done that with a wire feed welder or especially not with a stick welder, which is too fine, too small of a space and being able to get the tongues in there and just zap it just a little bit and get a little 16th wire in there and just do a nice little bead right there. The detail that you can get and the control that you have with the TIG welder is just so nice. Now you can see on the inside of this tube that is brown in color and that's because there's rust on the inside. There's some surface rust in there and that's not ideal for TIG welding. Other welding processes you can won't affect the weld but with TIG welding, you need absolutely clean metal, both on the outside, which we did clean that up, but on the inside as well, where it makes contact with the actual weld mint. If we get some of that rust in our weld pool, it will contaminate the pool and we'll get, you'll get like porosity in the weld and that sort of thing, which I did get a little bit of that, but surprisingly, I got very, I got, I got very little, surprisingly. And it's not a big deal here because this is not a structural or it doesn't hold gas or anything like, you know, it's not a, a life-threatening situation if the weld fails on this, this, uh, this piece of art, if I may call it art. I should have done a better job of cleaning up the inside on this. It's also just more satisfying when everything goes perfectly, you know, which is rare, <laughs> at least for me. So now we've been using tubing and then in order to do the, the tip of the tentacle, I brought out some, some solid rod for that. And this way I can heat it up with the torch and bend it in the direction I want. And then we'll grind the end of it a little bit and shape that so it's more round. This, it just seemed like a neater way of doing the, the, the end of it. And ultimately I, you, I could probably do a much more heavy duty and possibly easier to do project by doing something similar with different sizes of solid rod instead of the tubing. It would make for a much heavier duty tentacle, that's for sure.
So you can see the shape of the arm coming together now, and this is where it starts to get exciting for me, where I can actually see the thing coming to life that I just kind of sort of imagined previously. And I do really like these pie cuts, is your ability to twist and turn and make this thing sort of flow in any direction that you want and have the lines sort of smooth out on the tubing without too much of a hassle. I'm gonna fully weld this thing up and then I'll grind it smooth and it'll be even smoother looking and which is, it's kind of magical how this thing transforms from some straight pipe or straight tube into this curvy, almost organic looking arm. It's pretty neat. And so I fully welded this thing up and then ground down all the welds to try and make this as smooth as possible. And then I've got to make the little suction cups for this tentacle. And to do that, I'm starting with larger suction cups and I'm gonna work my way to the end of the tentacle with smaller suction cups. And I transition that and I'm starting with some, some smaller tubing here and then we're gonna to transition to some, some solid rod. Then ultimately on the smallest suction cups, I'm just going to use some welding filler metal and just put little dots on there and just build it up with my actual welding torch melted on there. And you'll see me use this magnet several times in this video and magnets aren't ideal even though this is specifically a welding magnet is made for this. The magnets are not ideal because if you get too close to it with your torch it will mess with the welding arc and take away some of your control. I prefer to clamp things down whenever possible, but I just either A, don't have enough clamps and, or fixtures or that sort of thing to get every position I want, or B, there are just some times when you have to use a magnet. And so I'm using these small pieces of tube for the suction cups. I'm just sort of tacking them on there in a couple spots here, there, little small beads. I'm not fully welding the, the tube around the base there. I certainly could have, and maybe aesthetically it would come out, it would look better there. I could maybe create some sort of additional effect that may look more organic, more natural to what a tentacle in real life looks like. I could fully weld this thing around, come in here with a grinder and grind down the weld marks or, and smooth everything out. If this was high-end art, that's what I would be doing. And maybe that's what separates, you know, this sort of lowbrow art from highbrow art. From a CNC project that went bad, I've got these random squares that already have holes drilled in them. So I'm gonna use this. It's a super heavy duty, this is a quarter inch, but it's a, I got it and it's basically free because it's, I don't know what to do with it. We'll use this, it'll be a nice mounting plate for it's turning out to be a very lovely tentacle. This is a fun project and I think someone is gonna really like this one. I'm quite proud of it myself. I'm, very tempted to keep it actually. My girlfriend wants to keep it, but I don't have the time to make a bunch of them. And honestly, I don't know if I want to make another one of this. It took me all day.